Hey, it's Randy from Voices and welcome back to another video. Now, I'm an audio producer with over a decade in the recording industry and I've helped hundreds of talent avoid crucial auditioning mistakes to book more work. Today, I'm gonna show you exactly how to increase your audio quality to help you land more jobs. Today, we're gonna focus on the back half of the recording process, the post-production process, which is the mixing and the editing. And it's in this stage where we can really elevate and bring our recordings to the next level. But let's start off with a totally okay recording. I'm not using our normal recording studio, I'm here in our office, so that the tools that I demonstrate are a little bit more obvious to hear. Also, maybe a little bit more relatable for those of you that don't have a great recording space to work in. Okay, let's record a sample. Okay, let's hop over to the studio. Okay, so I've got my audio loaded into Pro Tools here. Now, of course, for this demonstration, I'm using Pro Tools, but you could use GarageBand, Audacity, Audition, Reaper, Logic, whatever you're gonna use, it's gonna do just fine. But for this demo, I'm using Pro Tools because this is what I'm most familiar with and I can give you the best demonstration possible. Also, really quick before we start, just one quick caveat is that everything that I'm doing is just what my ears are telling me to do and what my experience is telling me to do um, and what I feel like my voice requires. There's no right way of doing this. It's what's gonna serve your product the best. So. All that said, use your ears, use your best judgment, and make a killer recording. You've got it, you can do this. Okay, so step number one for me is typically just creating a comp or a, a compilation of all the best pieces. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and duplicate this track. Now, Pro Tools and a lot of other softwares work non-destructively, so you don't actually have to do this step. I just like to duplicate the track and then make it inactive, just so I have sort of a copy of the work before any work has been done to it. So let's go ahead and start picking and choosing the best pieces that we wanna roll with. First things first, let's talk about the basics. Let's just do that. First things first, let's talk about the basics. I think the first one's a little bit more engaging, so we're gonna keep that first one. Let's go to VoiceOver is the art of using your voice to convey a message. VoiceOver is the art of using your voice to convey a message. I like that one, so let's take that. I'm actually just gonna move everything back a little bit, give me a bit more space to play with. So there's phrase two. I'm gonna worry about the timing later, so don't worry about that right now. We'll just uh, we'll just motor through this and get sort of this, um, all the pieces assembled that we'd like to keep. So this is... VoiceOver, yeah. whether it's for commercials, audiobooks. So let's do the second part here. Whether it's for commercials, audiobooks, animation, or video games. Whether it's for commercials, audiobooks, animation, or video games. You can tell that it's allergy season and I'm a little bit stuffed up, but that's okay. I'm not a voice actor after all, so this is all good. With the rise of digital media, the demand for voiceover work has skyrocketed. Make With the rise of digital media, the demand for voiceover work has skyrocketed, making it a really f digital media. The demand for voiceover work has skyrocketed, making it. I like that one better actually. So I'm gonna use that first one, drop that in, and the last phrase here. Making it a really fun and first things first. Making it a really fun and loop. With the rise of digital media, the demand for voiceover work has skyrocketed, making it a really fun and lucrative career choice. Yeah, we're gonna take that one for sure. Okay, so the rest of this I can just delete. Let's do that. I'm actually gonna get rid of this second track here. I'm just gonna hide that, just so I'm working with the one track here. And now the next step is to go through and sort of adjust the timing. We wanna get the pace set up so that it feels like I've performed it. So um, this is pretty simple to do. We're just gonna basically go through, cut the first little piece off there. First things first. Let's talk about the basics. And then in Pro Tools, what I really like about this is that you can actually drag this region out, see where you naturally paste that. So you can see this sort of uh, break that you naturally put in there, line up this piece with that one and put a crossfade. Now I know that's gonna be exactly in time with how I performed it, whether or not that's what I wanna keep, this is a good starting base. First things first, let's talk about the basics. VoiceOver is the art of- I do like that. Um, because this is sort of like commercial feeling, I'm just gonna shrink that edit just a tiny bit First things first, let's talk about the basics. VoiceOver is the art of use. Yeah, that's that's feeling good. And I might actually even truncate this one just a tiny bit as well. So this is where the art in editing really comes in. You can kind of play with this to make it um, to make it fit the, the feel that you really want, even if you didn't perform it that way. First things first, let's talk about the basics. VoiceOver is the art of using your voice to convey a message. And I was actually hearing that edit a little bit. Basics. VoiceOver is the art of using your voice to convey a message. Whether okay. Feeling good about that. I'm gonna drop this one in, sort of do the same it's thing. To convey a message, whether it's for commercials, audiobooks, animation, or video games. Now you can hear how much noise is in that space I was recording in. That's a lot of noise, so we're gonna have to, we'll have to deal with that, that's okay. Now, one thing I just wanted to explain is that I'm putting the crossfades near the end of these sections. I avoid doing it in the middle just in case there was a breath at the end of this take and a breath at the beginning of this take. You're gonna hear those two breaths 
change shape. So it might seem like, <gasps> like there's two different styles of breaths. So I usually put this right before the transient happens because that's when I know if I did inhale, I would have stopped inhaling and then started the word, which means that spot is probably actually the quietest spot to crossfade. If I do it at the beginning of it, I run the risk of sort of nipping that reverb or that, that tail of that word. There shouldn't really be any reverb in a voiceover recording. Sometimes there's a little bit, there's always gonna be a bit of room tone and I don't want to nip that room tone. So I just want to do that at this side. It's gonna give me a bit of a cleaner uh, crossfade there. So I think I'm pretty happy with this. I'm gonna keep this uh, noise at the end just because I wanna use that for our noise reduction a little bit later, but let's take a listen. First things first, let's talk about the basics. Voiceover is the art of using your voice to convey a message whether it's for commercials, audiobooks, animation, or video games. With the rise of digital media, the demand for voiceover work has skyrocketed, making it a really fun and lucrative career choice. Okay, I'm really happy with those edits. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is normalize these audio files and I'm gonna normalize them to negative one decibels. Clients go through the audition list very quickly. They spend about five seconds per audition. So we wanna make sure that our audio is nice and punchy in the auditions. In the final project, it's a bit of a different story. You don't really have to normalize. Yeah, you can kind of give them a bit more headroom to play with, but in the audition process, yeah, we wanna make sure that it's nice and loud. The one thing to note is that this is going to consolidate this region. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I'm happy with it, but just note that it will consolidate it. And you can see our levels just increased a little bit. That's also gonna bring up our noise a little bit. So let's take a listen to this. First things first, let's talk about the basics. Voiceover is the- You can hear how loud that noise is now. So the next step that I wanna do is our noise reduction. So I'm gonna go in and add isotopes uh, denoise. Now you can use any denoise. This is the one that I use, but they all pretty much work the same in that you have to teach it what the noise profile looks like. So adaptive mode here means it's gonna try to learn it without you teaching it. Um, but if you click learn, you can actually instruct it what that noise should sound like. So you grab a section of the noise and now it's learned that profile. So now if I play, you can hear how much reduction is being applied. So right now it's applying 12 decibels of reduction. I wanna hear what that's doing to my voice. First things first, let's talk about the basics. Voiceover is the art of using your voice to convey a message bypassed. First things first, let's talk about the basics. Voiceover is the art of using your voice to convey a message. You can hear how much it's taking out. First things first, but I want to really listen to my voice. That's, that's the key thing is I know it's going to do a great job with the noise, but I want to hear, is it affecting my voice? Is it creating artifacts that I'm going to hear later on? Now, I think that sounds pretty passable. So we're going to go ahead and leave it there for now. I might come back and tweak that in just a bit. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is add mouth declick. And now this is basically taking any sort of lip smacks, uh, you know, water in the mouth kind of sounds, and it's just going to remove them. This is what it's removing. You hear all that smacking? That's that's what it's removing. So I'm gonna turn off output clicks only. And now this is what it's leaving us with. And again, I wanna to check to make sure I'm not creating artifacts. First things first, let's talk about the basics. Voiceover is the art of using your voice to convey a message, whether it's for commercials, audiobooks, animation, or video games. With the rise of digital media, the demand for voiceover work has skyrocketed. Okay, sounds pretty good to me. I would say that as far as restoration goes, I think that this is in a decent place. Of course, it would have always been better to record in a quiet place with no fan in the first place, but here we are. So this would be the sort of the first step if I had a really nice recording to work with that I would typically do. So I'm gonna go ahead and add an EQ and I'm gonna just set this to default. The first thing that I wanna do here is take the first filter and most EQs work exactly the same. They might look a little bit different for you, but I'm gonna put on a low cut or a high pass filter. And I wanna bring this up to around 90 Hertz. This is gonna roll off all of the low frequencies like wind rumbling or uh, subways going underneath your house or desk rumbling, anything like that. It's basically below the human voice. So we don't really need to worry about it. So I'm just gonna roll that off. It's gonna clean up our recording a little bit. And I might also sweeten right around about three kilohertz. So I'm gonna turn filter number three to a bandpass and make it a little bit narrower. Between about one kilohertz and about three kilohertz is what we'd consider like the intelligibility range. It's what makes things sound clear and full of diction. This goes back to like the way our biology is with the shape of our ears and kind of dates back to like hearing sticks crack in the forest and stuff like that. We wanna have that heightened awareness in that frequency range, but we can actually utilize this just with a little boost around 3K to sort of make the voice stand out a little bit more, especially once we add music. So let me show you what this sounds like. I'm gonna be a bit extreme with it and I'm gonna dial it back just a bit. First things first, let's talk about the basics. 
Voiceover is the art of using your voice to convey a message. You can hear that range, it's like quite shrill, um, but we're gonna use that to our advantage here. Dial that back to just like two decibels of boost. Like it, again, subtlety, that's, that's the key here. First things first, let's talk about the basics. Voiceover is the art of using your voice to convey a message. Yeah, I feel like that's sounding pretty good. I might widen it just a touch. And then one other thing that I typically will do is if sometimes if I'm in like a small room and I have like a really sharp honking sound in the lower mids, I'll find it and pull it out. First things first, let's talk about the basics. Voiceover is the art of using your voice. I'm not really hearing any in this recording, so I'm, I'm just gonna leave it. But if you ever have that sort of like room mode, you can typically just pull them out quite easily. So you find them first, identify, yeah, that's the mode I'm hearing, and then pull it down. Um, what you don't wanna do is just sweep that around looking for stuff, because if you're not hearing issues to begin with, there's no sense in looking for them. Um, again, subtlety is the name of the game. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. The next step that I'm gonna do is compress this audio. Compression is going to reduce the dynamic range of the audio recording. So you can see here, there are loud parts like this, and there are quiet parts like this. And compression is gonna pull these down, in a result giving me the option to bring these up. So if you've ever watched like a movie trailer and you hear like, you know, in a world, and you hear like that, that release at the end, that is being caused by two things, performance and compression. So compression is really helping to pull out those subtleties. That's what gives it that sort of like commercial sound. So we wanna use a compressor, but we also wanna be very careful not to over compress. So we're looking for about three to four decibels of, of compression. To do this, I'm gonna start off with a preset. I recommend you do the same. It's a good starting base, kind of shows you how they would set it up based on um, some industry experts. This is saying a four to one ratio, and we're just gonna leave it right there for now. And I'm gonna drag this threshold down until I'm compressing about three to four decibels. So, silver is the art of using your voice to convey a message, whether it's for commercials, well, audiobooks, that's too much. animation, or video games. With the rise of digital media, the demand for voiceover work has skyrocketed, making it a really fun and lucrative career choice. And now we can actually boost up that gain about three decibels as well to compensate for that reduction. Silver is the art of using your voice to convey a message, whether it's for commercials, audiobooks, animation, or video games. With the rise of digital media, the demand for voiceover work has skyrocketed. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. I'm still hearing quite a bit of noise in these gaps. Basics. Voice. Hear all that noise? So I'm actually gonna put on a gate as well here. Again, I'm gonna go to a preset and I believe there's one here that is perfect for voiceover. Yeah, let's use that. And let's hear if this is creating artifacts in the recording. First things first, let's talk about the basics. Voiceover is the art of using your voice to convey a message whether it's for commercials, audiobooks, animation, or video games. With the rise of digital media, the demand for voiceover work has skyrocketed, making it a really fun and lucrative career choice. Okay, I'm still hearing a little bit of fluff like you can hear. Career choice, career choice, choice. Do you hear that like career choice? There's like a little bit of fluff in there. That's gonna be really tough to get rid of. The next thing that I'm gonna do is add a de just because there's some little shrill parts in there. Again, I'm gonna go in here and I need to go to a voiceover preset. It's gonna be easy to give us a good starting base to go with. First things first, let's talk about the basics. Voiceover is the art of using your voice. And this is what a de is removing. So it's taking out parts like this. And it's basically taking all of those S's and just bringing them back a little bit so that it's not quite as harsh to, to listen to. So let's take a first listen with first. this and without. Here's with. First things first, let's talk about the basics. Voiceover is the art of using your voice. And here's without. First things first, let's talk about the basics. Voiceover is the art of using your voice to convey a message. So two things here, I think it's, I think it's doing a little bit too much. So I'm just gonna dial this back to about negative 15. We'll take a listen to that. First things first, let's talk about the basics. Voiceover is the art of using your voice to convey a message. And I also think this compressor is still working a little bit too hard, so I'm just gonna dial this threshold back a tiny bit more as well. First things first, let's talk about the basics. Voiceover is the art of using your voice to convey a message, whether it's for commercials, audiobooks, animation, or video games. So that's definitely helping with the noise a little bit. I think this is just a really good show and tell of like why it's important to record in the right space to begin with because even with some of these plugins, which are like industry leading noise reduction plugins, we're still having trouble getting rid of that noise without completely affecting the quality of the voice. So this is a, just a great example of record in the right space to begin with. But we're gonna go ahead and say that that's okay because we are adding music and I think that we can probably get away with it. It's not really a great practice to get in the habit of, but for the purposes of this demo, I think 
it's gonna work just fine. So let's go ahead and add in our music track here. I'll show you what I'm doing on the music track in just a second. I'm gonna drag this just so it starts right after this sort of uh, downbeat of the song here. And that way we know it's gonna fit perfectly. Now with the EQ on the voice, we boosted around 3K. With the music track, I'm also doing the opposite. So I'm actually just taking out around 3K, which is just gonna help the voice kind of sit on top of that music track. So let's go ahead and take a listen to see how this sounds. First things first, let's talk about the basics. VoiceOver is the art of using your voice to convey a message, whether it's for commercials, audiobooks, animation, or video games. With the rise of digital media, the demand for VoiceOver work has skyrocketed, making it a really fun and lucrative career choice. Yeah, I mean, I think it sounds pretty good the way it is. I'm gonna leave it there. Now, the last thing I wanna do on my master bus is put a limiter and a meter. So the limiter is gonna help sort of glue the music and the voice together a little bit and make it a little bit louder. First things first, let's talk about the basics. VoiceOver is the art of using your voice to convey a message, whether it's... And I'm gonna pull down that 3K just a touch. It's a little bit abrasive to me. Um, and also I might even go ahead and pull down some of that air up above about 6K. It's just feeling a little bit bright. First things first, let's talk about the basics. VoiceOver is the art of using your voice to convey a message, whether it's for commercials, audiobooks, and the last thing is just to check to make sure that the LUFS is hitting sort of industry benchmarks. So this video is going up on YouTube and I wanna to check to make sure that it's meeting the YouTube standard. Um, and so we can play this and just monitor. First things first, let's talk about the basics. VoiceOver is the art of using your voice to convey a message, whether it's for commercials, audiobooks, animation, or video games. With the rise of digital media, the demand for voiceover work has skyrocketed, making it a really fun and lucrative career choice. Okay, so I am hearing a little bit of honkiness sort of in that mid, uh, kind of about 500-ish. Let's take a listen. First things first, let's talk about the basics. VoiceOver is the art of using your voice to convey a message, whether it's for commercials, audiobooks, animation, or video games. about there. So I'm just going to pull that down just a touch here and just going to widen this curve just a little bit. Again, subtlety is the name of the game, so we want to use broad brush strokes here. First things first, let's talk about the basics. VoiceOver is the art of using your voice. And I might also actually just boost up a little bit of this low end. So I'm gonna take band number four here, make this band pass, shrink the curve a little bit, and we're just gonna hype this low end just a touch. This is kind of, this could sound bad if we were listening in a car, so it's good to take this like into a bunch of different listening environments to hear how it's gonna uh, translate, but let's take a listen to this. First things first, let's talk about the basics. VoiceOver is the art of using your voice to convey a message whether it's for commercials, audiobooks, animation, or video games. With the rise of digital media, the demand for voiceover work has skyrocketed, making it a really fun and lucrative career choice. Okay, well, I feel like this feels pretty good. Aside from some of that fuzziness on the voice where the noise comes in, you can kind of hear the noise creep up in those gaps a little bit. I think that this sounds pretty good. Of course, your voice, your microphone, your speakers, your space, your plugins, they're all gonna require different treatment than what I've done today. I hope this is just a little bit of a guide for you, um, but this is definitely not the way that you have to do things. It's totally up to what your ears tell you is the right treatment. The vast majority of the clients that you're gonna be sending this audio to are listening on a variety of listening experiences, some on laptops, some with cheap headphones. So it's important to make sure that this mix translates on all of those different mediums. The best way to do that, plug in a pair of headphones, plug in a different pair of headphones and see how it sounds. And I hope that the main takeaway from this whole exercise is that when you bring up a plugin, it's good to sort of get it to that sweet spot where you really like it and then just dial it back just a touch because some of these plugins will actually stack and have sort of a cumulative sound. So it's not any one plugin that's gonna fix your audio, it's the sum of all of their parts. Well, I hope that you guys found some value from this exercise. Of course, if you have any comments or questions, put them down in the comment section below. I'll be answering everything that you guys post there. And as always, happy auditioning. We'll see you in the next one.